Cameron Green ISNT old enough to drive her vote, but that hasn't stopped her from pursuing big dreams. The 13-year-old sells her own artwork, is the author of a children's book and helps support a teen in Liberia. She was invited to speak at the 38th annual Martin Luther King Jr. Interfaith Prayer Breakfast in Raleigh last month. Cameron, an 8th grader at Daly's Academy in Rollsville, talks about how she juggles it all and offers some advice for other young entrepreneurs. Q. You started selling your artwork five years ago. How did you become an entrepreneur at eight years old? A. I always wanted to be an artist. I've been painting since I was four, although I've never taken any art classes. One day I just stopped the color by number painting, got out a canvas and painted freehand, and it actually looked pretty good. Advertising and read invented by Teeds, we my mom and I made a Facebook page and orders started coming in, so we started Cameron's Creations. Q. How many pieces have you sold, and what's the price range? A. About 500. Paintings range from $20, our smallest size, to our biggest, which is $100. Q. What are you doing with the money? A. Some of it's going into a college fund, some goes back into the business, and I also give back to the orphans in Liberia whose parents have D and they can't afford to go to school. Q. What made you choose to support that cause? A. I have a friend from Liberia, and his mom has always told me how bad it was for the orphans. Since I was little, I always wanted to help them, so when I started my business I immediately wanted to do something. I've been able to sponsor a yearly scholarship for a young lady named Princess for two years, and we're doing it this year too. It's $300 a year. She's 13, too. I really want to go to Liberia to visit her. She sent me an outfit, a Liberian outfit and I love it, and I sent her a necklace and one of my paintings. Q. How did you get invited to speak at the MLK breakfast day? I didn't know about the breakfast. I went to school one day, and my mom entered me into the contest. I came home and learned they picked me to speak. Q. What did you talk about, and what was it like? A. It was a message about my business and everything I do. My mom actually helped me write it. It was such an honor to speak for such an important man. He helped us have our civil rights as African Americans. If he was alive, I hope he would be proud of me. It was life-changing. Everyone at school was like, good job Cameron, I'm so proud of you. Q. Wanting to give back and helping other people, where does that come from? A. My mom. She's always giving back and helping others follow their dreams. She's a leader for me, and she helped me with my business and made me want to give back. Q. What is your favorite thing to paint? What inspires you? A. I love painting African art, African Americans and people in general. I have an afro so I love painting afros. I get my ideas from nature itself. I paint the beautiful sunsets when we go to the beach. I also get my inspiration from other African artists. Q. What's the best thing you've learned? How to work hard. I have to work hard consistently to manage my business. Even when I don't feel like painting, I still have to do it. I've been rewarded with all the money, being able to give back to the kids and multiple entrepreneur awards. Q. Yeah, I'll start high school next year. Any new ambitions, A? I'd really like to have my own TV show called Cameron's World where I travel around the world helping other kids become entrepreneurs and follow their dreams. Q. Any advice for other kids who'd like to be entrepreneurs, A? Set a goal for yourself first. I set a goal to make at least 10 paintings. I was 8, I didn't know much about it. Work hard, be consistent with it, and don't give up on your dreams.